All right, everyone, very exciting update. Um, as you can see here, we have two new tabs on our AI dashboard, the conversations tab and the errors tab. So let's go look at uh, conversations first. Let's click that, all right? So this is pretty straightforward, but now you can see all of the conversations that your bot is having across all of the channels. Um, so that, again, this is super helpful, right? You'll now be able to view and go over all these conversations that your bot is having. So cool feature. The next tab, the areas tab, right? This is actually my favorite. Um, it may not seem like a lot, but it's going to be very, very helpful for diagnosing issues and fixing problems with your bot. So anytime an error occurs in the code on the back end and the function is triggered by your API key or your bot ID, then it's gonna accept that error, right? And then create an error object in the UI so you can diagnose it and see what's happening here. So let's say for example, you know, our API key is, is wrong or we have the invalid API key, so let's just mess this API key up right here, right? Okay. Now if we go and preview the bot in the preview tab, right? So it's gonna generate and send out that intro message, right? Doesn't need the AI to do that, but if we respond to it, now it's gonna go in, um, you know, it has to use OpenAI to generate this response. Mm -hmm. Right, it's loading, loading. You may be wondering what's going on with my bot, right? What's going on? If we go over here to the errors tab, right? Okay, here's what happened. Incorrect API key provided. You can find your API key at platform at OpenAI, right? So this is the error response um, from OpenAI's API, right? And you can see here the time and date and literally the message telling you what went wrong, right? So again, super, super helpful. Um, very, very powerful um, feature right here. So, all right. And these are, you know, a part of the new update that I just released and finished up a couple of days ago. So if you guys have not updated the snapshot in the custom menu links, um, make sure to do that. You can just go to app.roho.ai, right? Log in. And after logging in, you'll be brought to this onboarding um, screen right here. So all you have to do is just follow these steps and watch these videos, right? All you have to do, very, very simple now, super easy to set up. But again, make sure to update the snapshot and follow this onboarding, um, you know, before you try and use your bot. So, all right, guys, hope you like this update. Um, yeah.